Hey Fuji photographers, I wanted to offer a quick tip for using the Color Chrome FX Blue setting that's been found in Fujifilm cameras since I think around 2020, and that's using it as an impromptu polarizing filter. Photographers use polarizing filters primarily for two reasons. To cut glare on glass and water, which helps you see what's on the other side of that glass or water, see through the water. And also for making blue skies darker, which can really add some depth to your photos, makes those bright puffy clouds stand out more, and can just add some drama to your landscape photography. This doesn't come without costs, however. Polarizing filters reduce light transmissivity, meaning you'll need to use either higher ISOs, slower shutter speeds, or wider apertures than you normally would. They can also alter the colors that your sensor records, especially with the cheaper filters. You may notice a pretty big color cast that's difficult to correct. Then there's also the hassle of installing and uninstalling these filters whenever you want their effects. It's just one more step between you and a photo. And then if you're using a wide angle lens, as many photographers do in landscape photography, that polarization effect in the sky can be noticeably different throughout the frame, depending on where the sun is. One side of your frame might have that nice darker blue, but the other side could be a really light blue if it's closer to the sun. So Fujifilm gave us this setting, Color Chrome FX Blue, and what this does is it lowers the luminosity of blue colors and only blue colors, which means that it can make your blue skies darker. And because all of this is done in the camera, you won't have those issues that polarizing filters give you. So the transmissivity won't be affected. You won't have any other kind of color casts in other colors, and that effect, the darker blue effect, will be uniform across the entire sky when using a wide angle lens. There are two settings for color chrome FX blue other than off. You can choose between weak and strong, and you can preview that effect in the live view as you're changing it. This effect will also be handled differently depending on the film simulation that you're using. For example, the effect may be more subtle with Eterna and Classic Neg because those blues are already desaturated, but it can be much more pronounced with Velvia, which has a lot of saturation to begin with. So if it's only your skies that you want to make darker, you're not dealing with reflections of water or glass, give Color Chrome FX Blue a shot. And because it won't cut reflections like a polarizing filter can, you won't be able to see through that water as much, if at all, but it will make that water a darker blue also, which could help you depending on your vision for that photo. So give this setting a shot with different combinations and see if it gives you the effect that you're looking for. This setting also doesn't affect raw files. It's primarily for photographers using these Fujifilm cameras for their amazing JPEG capability, but it can help you preview what your raw file could look like when processed. When you get back to your computer, you can just pull down the luminosity of the blue colors and kind of get that same effect so this setting will help you preview that. What else do you use Color Chrome FX Blue for? You can let us know in the comments, as well as if you have any other questions about this setting. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.